Saber 1000 here. I also have Monkey 1000. Yes. Today we're going to be unboxing, unpackaging this. Too much light, I think. There we go. All right. <laughs> this is a hammock. Now I'm going to tell you about this hammock here in just a second. So we're going to open this up and we're going to set it up and do a review. So stick around. Okay guys. Monkey, can you see that? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're going to open this up. Bought this from Amazon. It was 56. I got it right here. It was 54.71. Of course it cost eight dollars in shipping so let's go ahead and open this up i'm going to um the reason why we're, we're just going to set set this up in the backyard just in case something's missing or something's broke i'm not out there on that island right with no cell service and no shelter so and I also want to try it out and see if I would like one. Yeah, cause because if, we might do a, you know, a campground one night and uh, in hammocks. So yes. I can get into this. Okay, so. now <laughs> I'm going to tell you what this is called. I can tell you it's not a brand name. It is called Camping Hammock with Mosquito Net and Rainfly Extra Large Portable Travel. That's like the name of it. I can't find the brand. Maybe it'll be on here. I don't know. Let's go ahead and pull this out. That's funny, isn't it? Usage of hammock. Okay, so we got this in here. Oh. All right. Now let's. Oh, cool. It does come in a ziplock. Yeah, she's filming too. So. Yeah. All right. Now. So this must be the rain fly, I'm guessing. Maybe this is... Yeah, probably. I don't know. I would okay. The thicker one would be so, the hammock. It shows you how to go from tree to tree. Now how far apart is your tree supposed to be? I don't know. Oh. But... <laughs> I just wonder. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I'm, like I said, I've never set one of these up that's a tent. This is a tent, so we also, <laughs> yeah, I could have used this, you know, when I was, uh. Oh, there's a nighttime thingy. I told oh, you yeah, that. that's cool. I could have used this when I was doing my. I could sleep with those, and while you're watching TV, I, I can go to sleep. I could have used this when I was doing my, uh blindfolded brick job oh yeah. yeah and it would have worked fine better than what i had because it kept pushing on my eyes yeah so I'd squint my eyes closed real hard mm -hmm. but yeah you can't you can't see anything like that. that's kind of nice Ooh, let me try it's blue yeah it's blue. so blue for blue and it's velcor so you can adjust to your size velcro yep velcor <laughs> okay so i believe that's what we say in our Country? Oh, for it. Oh. All right, so here's. Yeah, yeah this is the rain fly. Oh, okay, cool. So here's I the rain see. fly. Why? Here's okay. the, the ties for the rain fly and the stakes. There's two different ways you can put this rain fly. We'll get into that once we set it up. So um, it does have good reviews, but like I said, though, I don't see a name brand a name well even you know if it was generic this is your straps for to put around your tree hmm. got this paracord mm-hmm paracord yeah, I, know it. I know it's not 550 paracord but oh, of course not then i might give you the most expensive okay so should be something else Okay, yes, I feel a carabiner in there. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so we're going to have to take this outside. The reason why we did the opening in here is because, as always, there's a neighbor down the street here doing some kind of work that they hadn't done all day long. Hmm. So I don't know if they just got off work and decided to do something now or not, but like I said, I can't find... It's just using hammocks can be risky. Use with utmost caution. Okay. Hammock to chair height, 12 to 18 inches from the ground. You can put it as high as you want. It's just like I heard somebody say one time, as high as you're willing to fall, because eventually you may fall out of one of these. Uh, it is made in China. But we got it a day early. It wasn't supposed to be until tomorrow. We got it today because it came from Jacksonville, Florida, yep. mm -hmm. which is how long, how far away? About two hours from About here. About two hours, so yeah. that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So it did come quick. Like I said, that's, that's the name of it. Um, camping Hammock with Mosquito Net and Rain Fly XL, which is extra large. Portable travel. There's more. <laughs> okay, brand A E E T T. What the heck's that? It says brand A E E T T. Hmm. Large. It's camo on camo. Camping hammock with mosquito net and rain fly XL. Portable travel hammock, bug net, camping equipment, hammock tent for outdoor hiking, camping, backpacking, travel, camo, and camo, extra large. And that is no shit. Make sure that's exactly what it says, and that's not even the description. Huh. It is a four and a half out of five star on 91 reviews. So That's pretty good. Um, and... I'll tell you what it costs. Yeah, it, okay, it does say right there. A E E T T. It is forty six ninety nine and eight dollars shipping to ship it. So awesome. All right, so what you can get three colors. Well, they was out of camo and army green for some reason. But I could have got the army green and uh, looks like a like an olive color. But I got the camo on camo. All right. So anyway, there's that out of the way. Let's go outside and see if we can't uh, get this set up. Yay! I'm excited. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I want to see it. And like I said, um, maybe tentatively I'm going to plan to go to the uh, island, camp out on the island. Like I said, if I was missing something, it wouldn't have been a big deal. We're not supposed to get any rain or anything. Um, that would have been kind of made for a good video hmm. if something didn't come with it and I would have had to just make do with what I had. That would have been cool. But I don't like that when I'm doing a review. But, so, all right. We're going to figure out how, because this, this is all it gives you here. And it's pretty much just pictures. So, I mean, usage of the rope, usage of the hammock. And apparently you can also turn the hammock upside down if you don't want the net. Um, then the net will be on the bottom, but. I will be using the net. Yeah, I would assume there's lots of mosquitoes where you're going to be at, so, yeah. Yeah, so. But you could just use it during the day if you'd wanted to. You could flip it around and yep. it. All right, so we're going to go outside, and we're going to get you guys set up on, well, you're on your tripods, but we'll get you guys set up. Yep. And we're going to see we'll how it works. Try to get this thing set up, so. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, so this has, I'll show you yours too here in a second. Mm -hmm. Has one, two, 
three, four, and five. Okay, this is going to go through one of them. All right, see these here. See that? Yep. See the loops? Okay, so what we're going to do, we try to YouTube this. Not too much. Okay. There's one guy had one similar, but it wasn't this one. Right. So, all right, what it's telling me to do is to go around the tree. All right. Give me a nice big hug, babe. Yep. Ooh, la la tree la. Tree hugger. Tree hugger. Tree hugger. All right. Now, now I'm going to put this through one of these. I guess you can you adjust it this way. It also says in what they're calling instructions that you can tie knots if you need it shorter or longer. See, this is going to be, and then monkey's showing you here. Let me get you down here. I'm going to put it in here. Like that. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, there's not much instructions. No, it's like a it's little just piece a, of paper it's just with a bunch of cartoons. Pictures. Yeah. So anyway, you get the idea. It's like something like that. Yeah, and we're gonna go and do the other side, and right. Yeah, and then we'll adjust it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll be back. Okay, guys, this is what we've got so far. Now, I scrapped it the idea of using their straps I will however take these with me but there's just these things just just don't want to work right so my advice if you get one of these cheap things I guess go ahead and get some of these now you can tie these it says tie them in knots until it's adjusted right or something like that but once you tie these straps in a knot if anybody's ever tied one of these straps in a knot you ain't never getting it out, especially once you put 200 pound on it, you know? So, I just use my straps there. I think they're safer, too. The yeah. Straps, yeah. But, and then this, we just tied together. So, I guess it's just trial and error. This is how I did it, guys. And it's going to work all right for me. I'm moving a vine out of the way. I've already been inside it. So, this is... We just, um... For the the ridge line for the mosquito net we just tied together wrapped it around the tree well we tied it up there run it through that side wrapped it around the tree once and then back through this side and i just got these you just pull them and they those knots um but i mean geez those would work if they were shorter those straps if they were shorter they would work but uh if you're going around a tree this size it just i don't want to tie knots in it because like i said you go tie knots and straps ain't gonna ain't gonna be very good and here i'll show you the instructions a little better monkey showed it on hers these are your instructions yeah that's it you know, hang hammock, pull two drawstrings of mosquito net through the ring at the top and tie to a tree. And then when not using the mosquito net, just turn it and turn it over. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try we're gonna try to put the rain fly on next. It says fold the rain fly along the diagonal. So it's going to look like that. Then fix the rain fly on the buckle of the hammock. Well, that can't be right. <laughs> See, there's no way. It's got to go up higher. See, it even shows you right there. Uh, Jesus. The instructions suck. Or not the rain fly on the tree tightly. Oh, I guess you can put it through the hoops. Okay, if you if you're not using the net, you can put it through here, but we're just going to tie it up here and stake it out the best we can. 
and I'll show you what what I come up with okay guys here's monkey there's her setup there isn't that cool wireless mics I can't use mine because my clip thingy oh. has gone off and I can't find my 37 other mics so anyway this is what we did okay now this is a true honest to goodness review because you're going to run into situations like this right monk yeah okay so I already explained this all right this is what I had to do here I don't like that I may have to flip that uh, so that don't come out on me okay but now these straps here they're fine okay they will work just fine in all fairness if your trees are far enough apart I got the extra large and my trees are just not far enough apart they should have been probably at least another foot on each side at least mm -hmm. so in all fairness but see again if you, once you get farther apart you're going to need more of this for your for your ridge line for your net right. which you're not going to have yeah okay so you're not going to have that once you get them farther apart right. especially if you use a tree this size mm -hmm. so in an all honest to goodness review this is what you might run into okay so i suggest bringing some old straps now you can use those and tie them into a knot they're just a pain to get untied if you can get them untied right. if you can't you have to cut them and on here and on here since since my trees aren't quite far enough apart i ran my own ridge line and i just did that okay so there it is up in there and i tied that corner sorry that corner over there onto a little tree I put that in a stake in the ground and this one back here in a stake in the ground and these two stakes in the ground and this one I just tied to this tree here so always bring extra cordage well I didn't use the stakes that came with it no you didn't so but yeah always bring extra stakes but if you're out in the woods you got a knife you can always make stakes yeah. you know mm -hmm. but so there it is. I think that's kind of difficult, but... Well, you're not... Remember, here we go again. If, you know, if you go to a different place to camp, you, you might run into trees that are like this. Right. Nice, good trees, but they're not far enough apart. Mm -hmm. You may run into a couple trees that are too far apart, and you may have to add cordage. So just bear that in mind that in, in a reality situation... This is true reality. You're going you may run into some issues, but just you know, it's no big deal. Just tie some knots and some string or rope. I shouldn't say string, but tie some rope on there. Make your ridge line, whatever you gotta do. Okay? So and and you'll you'll get by. But don't like some of them guys, you just see them going out and looking up at the trees. Yep, yeah, these three are working it's just fit perfectly for some reason they probably yeah. camped there before yeah. well i've never set one of these hammocks this style hammock here before no. the, uh, we got the other hammock monkey's hammock right. we tied up here which was fine but this is bigger than that and it's longer we well yeah it didn't come with anything yeah. that's why we used those but i used these ones just because i didn't want to now if the trees were farther apart then mother straps will work they'll they will tighten down once you get in it they it's not going to fall on you they're not going to break also i've read the reviews they have some great reviews but there's always a couple idiots like one guy was complaining it leaked he got soaking wet it's a good thing he was in his backyard because one o'clock in the morning he was soaking wet wow well i'll tell you why because you got to waterproof this stuff guys right. anytime you're re reading reviews on a tent and they say it leaks yeah it's going to right. because you have to waterproof that get that scotch guard and spray on there and you know like up here at the top there you know it don't have the seal tape well just run you some some vaseline down through there that's all you got to do man just run you some vaseline down through there 
on the, any seam that may leak which would be right there mm -hmm. and it's going to be it's going to be all right now i i haven't i haven't water sealed this yet but i'm going to before you do. before i take it out yeah for my trip yeah. which tentatively would be next weekend but solo my solo trip but this will just be solo tonight which i will film that that'll be another video this is just we no, you. yeah i am oh well, you're saying we because i'm always saying we on the camera right well i thought i didn't know you were spending the night in there though. yeah oh. I, I gotta give it a good review well you need to go sit in there and see how or a bad it. review whatever you know and get yourself in there and i'll i meant a fair review i should say everybody go oh he's got to give it a good review why no i'll tell you if it sucks it sucks but yeah, so. Why don't you get in there and I'll. So, anyway, I'm going to get in there and I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah. And then we'll call this video done. So, hang tight and I'll get inside of it. Okay, so he's in his hammock. There you are. And he likes the spreader bar, he says. So that yeah, would like work. Spreader yeah. Spreader better. Yeah. yeah. This, this, I like better than. That other little one, though, yours. Yeah, you like it better? Is it more oh, comfy? The other one, remember my feet kept falling out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I like the way it wraps around me, kind of like a mummy bag. Yeah. Here, I'll, uh, I'll bring it's the cool. camera in here. Okay. And I'll film out at you. There you go. And so this is what it looks like in here, guys. There's monkey. Yeah. See, there's what I'm talking about. It's a spreader bar that holds it open like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but those are expensive ones. Mm -hmm. This was, you know, less than 50 bucks. Right. And well, a little over 50 if you don't get free shipping. But anything over $25 is supposed to be free shipping. Mm -hmm. But that's only if you got Prime. So, you know. But, yeah, I think it'll be all right. There's the rain fly. Like I said, just remember to get some Scotch Guard and spray on that rain fly. Or they will leak. And there, that seam running right down the middle of that. Rub you some Vaseline on that. Petroleum jelly, whatever. And you'll be fine. Um, as far as longevity, I don't know how long this thing's going to last. It is made out of, like, cheap tent stuff really cheap tent stuff but there is a pocket here and there's one on the outside right here that rolls up in there's monkey she's dealing with her camera stuff what happened <laughs> all right guys so anyway there's that i'm sure monkey's gonna want to do her outro and I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a camp out in this thing tonight. So, um, tentatively, next weekend we'll get this out in the real, real, real wilderness and see what kind of, you know, problems we may or may not run into. Um, there's enough trees out there, and but I don't know how far apart they are. May run into the same problem, but then again, we may not need to use any other straps or anything so all right i can see a mosquito out there but uh he's not in here so that's cool so anyway i'm gonna say she barely met the man of legend gone for now mom what happened what? i you... took my camera off so i could get inside this i'm gonna test it whoa whoa wait you're gonna get inside yeah i'm gonna try Okay. So I'm going to bring my camera in there. Okay, hold on to my outro for one second. Okay, there she goes. Yeah. Alright, so how do I do this? Just put your feet up in now. Yeah. Hurry up, you're getting skeeters in my thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is neat. I took the other one. Yeah. Okay. Look at all these ripples.
But I guess if you had a bigger, longer distance. Scoot over to your right some more. Yeah. Okay, guys. She's in there. Inside the tent now, so you guys can kind of get an idea. And <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna do my outro now. <laughs> well, if you like it, we'll get you one too. Yeah, I'd rather have one with a bar on it. Well, I'll sleep in it tonight, and we'll see. But yeah, because yeah. I, I don't spend a lot of time in my tents anyway, unless it's raining. Like if it rains for a weekend, I may be stuck in here, and you know I want to be comfortable. So, all right, guys, she barely met the man legend. I'm gone for now, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Hope this helped. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.